you and the Prime Minister have both said you don't want to return to austerity. But for many of these people, the hallmark of austerity was seeing a pay freeze. So if it looks like austerity, if it sounds like austerity, if it feels like austerity, then it is austerity, isn't it? Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't think that's fair characterization at all. And first of all, you know, I've, I've worked with Frances closely uh, during this crisis on various things. So I very much, you know, listen to what she has to say and, and respectively disagree in some, in some areas. I think you will not see austerity next week. What you will see is an increase in the government spending on day-to-day -day public services, you know, quite a significant one coming on the increase that we had last year. So I think there's, there's absolutely no way in which anyone could say uh, that's austerity. We'll be spending more money on public services uh, than we were. And then, you know, with regard, I can't comment on future pay policy in advance of the spending review, but what, what I would say is when we, when we launched the spending review, I did say to departments that when we think about public safety, settlements, I think it would be entirely reasonable to think about those in the context of the wider economic climate. Uh, I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Uh, and then also, secondly, I think it would be fair, uh, and Francis, I think, used the word fairness as well, I think it would, it would be fair to also think about what's happening with wages, with jobs, with hours across the economy uh, when we think about what the right thing to do in the public sector is.